Do you ever become reminiscent of a time where you could use words like rad and butthead? Do you miss the quirky yet seemingly unhygienic cartoon characters of the 90s? And lastly, do you ever wish there was a top-down 2D space shooter with the ability to customize your spaceship using parts harvested from your enemies all on the fly? Well, if you do, you might just enjoy a little bit of Captain Forever Remix. Launching today as early access on Steam is the newest title in the Captain Forever series, squishing together two beloved games of old, Captain Forever and Captain Successor. Throw in some updated graphics, features, and modules, and voila, we have Captain Forever Remix. Breathing life into CFR is the game studio Pixelsaurus Games, led by artist and designer Dean Tate and coder Brian Chan. And they've thrown in a dash of inspiration from the original 2009 Captain Forever game designer, Farbs otherwise known as Jared Woods. I don't know why he operates from a pseudonym, but he does. And maybe I shouldn't tell you that. If you're just discovering that now, you didn't hear it here. I will deny everything. I want so badly to compare this to titles I already play on my channel, but I feel that CFR deserves to be noted for its features as its own. Simply because the original 2009 Captain Forever game concepts are more likely to have been the inspiration for not from the other similar titles I feature. All that being said, I have had the opportunity to play the beta enough before launch to know that it is the genre of game that I'm totally into right now. Admittedly, it's, it's lighter than most of the current titles I play, but it still has some depth to it, and there's a way to enhance your future experiences with the game by purchasing upgrades to your, uh, character, I guess? <laughs> I don't know what to call it, with pretend money you earn by defeating bad guys. It's a neat concept to add some replayability, and I like it. I think I've said enough, let's play the game. Okay, here's the starting screen. Of course, I, I just want to talk about this for a second. Um, interesting art style, first off. It's 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 unique, and it reminds me of some of the 90s cartoons and stuff, which is really, really cool. Um, but uh, you could tell a lot from this room what's going on, and I don't know if this is... This whole thing is in her imagination, or there is actually, is there a comic actually named Captain Forever? I don't know, it just, there's, I just looks like there's got to be so much more lore here um, in the world than, than what's here. But yeah, she's got, it looks like she's rented a tape, a video tape, of course, very 90s-esque again, uh, called Captain Forever. She's watching Captain Forever, she's got Captain Forever 3 here, and uh, she's eating Cosmic Crunch, so she's right into space. It looks like she's drawing pictures of space, and of course there's a cat cat and uh the milk says moo woo milk which is amazing and of course the girl uh, the picture of the girl on the carton is just super funny anyway so you know lots lots of really cool interesting stuff can be depicted from this one picture but anyway who's captain forever you're asking who is captain forever well captain forever i think is her i'm um, just based on my play i think captain forever is her and yes so i am i am officially now i'm a prepubescent girl that's that's me um, so anyway, <laughs> uh, you get to play as her, uh, but let's go over the options and we'll actually play. So options, uh, not a lot of options. Uh, this is subject to change. And while we're here, let's talk about the disclaimer. Anything you see here will change, could change. I believe this is still early access. Besides that, the, what I'm playing right now is pre-release. So I don't know, lots could be different, but, uh, uh what's new 2015, uh, A, B, and C. That's all new. So I'm assuming they're going to add all that stuff in, I guess for patches and stuff. This is what I'm assuming. Okay. And, uh, credits, of course we have the artist Dean Tate, uh, Dean Tate. Pardon me. Code, Brian Chan. Sound, Amin Zarukian. Sorry, I forgot to mention you earlier, Amin. Very, very important. Um, other stuff, Farbs, of course. We talked about Farbs. Special thanks to A, B, and C. They are going to include that later. And tech is am amat amatic font? I don't know. Must be a company. I don't know. Uh, pretty cool. Let's start a game. So... Ah, oh, yes! Uh, and this is this is your your brother. So I am her, and this is my brother. So morning, sis. Want to play a game? Uh, I'm busy. Watching Captain Forever, huh? That's all you do every Saturday. Uh, fine, I'll play on one condition. Ah, that doesn't work for me. Um, I get to be the hero! Uh, maybe a little too far. I don't know. Uh, deal, but now you get to... You gotta stop me from... Messing up the solar system. Wow, that is quite a change. He's got the Jughead... Uh, the Jughead crown, and he's got... What did you do to your face, brother? Oh, my lord. Okay, so, uh, yuck. Yuck is right. Last one to Pluto is a rotten egg, and that is the premise of the game. You start in a spaceship. Ah, look, we're in a spaceship, and our goal is to get to Pluto. 
Pretty neat. Um, now, here, let's uh, talk about the controls while we're here. This is kind of a tutorial thing. You just have to destroy some targets. So we get to talk about uh, the controls. So we got WASD. So W is left. Uh, uh, D, sorry, A is left. <laughs> D is right. W is forward. S is back. Q and E for strafing. So Q is, of course, to strafe left. E is to strafe right. Very handy if you've got certain types of ship builds. And this is our command module, very similar to other games we play, um, except that this command, tool, command module has a special feature. It can fire! It, can, it has its own gun. So you don't actually have to add a gun to this uh, to allow it to fire. Of course, you will want to add guns later, but uh, it, it, it actually is independent on its own. It will move and it will fire at things. So we can just... Uh, See, see how good we are at target practice. It's, it, it, it's, it's, it takes some practice to get used to the controls and, uh, you know, just like other things that I play. And, of course, as you build your ships, you get better at building certain types of ships that sort of fit your play style. Uh, okay, so time to build a ship. Captain Forever, that's me. Time to build a ship. No, that's time to build a rad ship. Rad, man. Rad. Okay, so here's where it already starts to get interesting. So these are like achievements. So you start off with a basic kit, and of course with a basic kit you can put together uh, your ship, right? And then as you progress through the game, you can unlock different kits, right? So uh, once you have reached Mercury in the solar system, you can unlock the sniper kit. So you can start with the sniper kit. Make sense? So this is where I'm talking about this replayabil replayability thing. Then on top of that, you can upgrade certain things within the sniper ship sniper kit using money you've earned and you get the money by battling bad guys and defeating bad guys so so if we can make it to mercury we're gonna unlock the sniper kit and then if we earn any money we can upgrade our, our build time and allow us to have more time in between each stages to build cool eh um and for 25 bucks we can add some critical chance so it does critical damage and for 150 bucks we can add some weapon sites don't know what that does haven't got that far so pretty cool. So yeah, lots and lots and lots of replayability with this. And then I think there's even more than that. But uh, I don't know. Of course, you start. I deleted my save game, so I'm starting off from fresh. And uh, so with the basic kit, you start with uh, some basic blocks, bulkheads, which are just they're kind of like armor. Now you can put them in front of your your little command module. And of course, the benefit to doing that isn't that cool? How it kind of snaps together. Everything's it's like everything's magnetic. It feels really good. That feels good, right? Um, but uh, now your, 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 your command module can fire, so whether or not you want to put something in front of it is up to you at the beginning. Um, I like to kind of leave that as an extra gun. Uh, so these here, these are kinda, everything starts off as level 1, by the way. Anything that's green is level 1. Anything that's yellow is level 2. Orange, I believe, is yellow level 3, and so forth. Uh, of course, everything's identified by color. So you start off with... Laser level 1, health 1, mass 1, damage 0.25, and cooldown 0.5. So they're slow firing, uh, low damage, low range gun. And then of course we've got uh, boosters, and of course, uh, now, see, and you can do whatever you want here. Now, you have to be careful where you put your engines, because if I put all my engines on this side and I push forward, I'm just going to spin around in circles. <laughs> Symmetry matters, folks. It matters. Not just in games but in real life too but uh so and there's there's tactics um there's all sorts of interesting ways to build our ships later on at the beginning you don't really have a lot of choice uh what we could do uh just to show you uh we can't really test drive it in here but uh you know uh, if I want a ship that turns really well, I could do that. And if I had another... No, I guess I can't do it because I don't have another engine. To start off, you know, you pretty, wanna, pretty much want to go basic. But I'm sure there's more imaginative ways to do it than this. I guess what we could do is do that. And that kind of protects our command module as well. Except if somebody follows us and hits us from behind. I don't know. Uh, there's no great way to do it. Oh, that looks kind of cool. It looks kind of fighter-ish. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, jump now. So like I said, the goal is to get to Jupiter and our little brother... It's causing all sorts of mayhem to the universe. Uh, for example, he has frozen the sun. Oh, that's terrible. How could he? You froze his sun? Yeah, well, mom never lets us run the air run the air conditioner. <laughs> I've never actually read these. So, um, it's kind of, I don't know, it makes you feel like you're playing a kid's game, but there really is a lot of strategy here. It's actually pretty cool. Or tactics, whoever you want to look at it. So when you hear that or see that little ping, that means there's enemies nearby. And the goal here, because enemies are, are loot. Enemies are, of course, contain all the goodies you're going to need to progress throughout the game. So you want to defeat them by, in, in, not just defeat them, you want to destroy their command module without destroying all of their parts. 
That is, unless you don't want to keep their parts, but we want to keep their parts, right? So, uh, it's tricky at the beginning when all they have is a gun and a command module, and of course he turns really well. Ah, well, we'll just shoot him. Ah, see? Well, we might be able to get an engine out of him. Oh, no, we didn't even get an engine. Okay, well, we'll stick that in behind. At least our rear is protected. So, there is no way to buy blocks or build blocks, unlike other games that we've played. Um, everything you earn comes from bad guys. Oh, and to progress to the next levels and make it to different planets, you have to destroy higher level bad guys. So, he is a level 3 bad guy, and he's actually pretty advanced for us. We are level 1. Now, if we defeat him, we're actually going to skip a level. Um, but we're not going to do that. We want to we want to do this the long and hard way. And I apologize for my noobness with this combat thing. Uh, I suppose we can. Do it. No, I don't. I don't want. I, I want to find a find a level two guy actually. <laughs> now, of course, like you really want to try and find a way to defeat enemies without destroying all of their other bits. And uh, we, if we could, we could have totally defeated that level three guy. I think he would have been tough, but uh, I think we could have done it. Hmm. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's our only choice. Uh, the last time we played this, I did. I'm pretty sure I had a level two guy. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so he's not quite as tough as a level three guy, but I don't think he's a level two because level two would be yellow parts. So we should be able to just get on the side of him. And ah, no, no, no. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, good. Ah, oh, blast, we shot that gun. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to shoot off his gun. But on the fly, you can build stuff, and you gotta be quick if you're gonna do it in between the fights. Um, you get a little bit of a, more of a chance to do some uh, better building or more time to build uh, when you move to the next level. Ooh, I'm attacking you. I'm attacking you. Do you copy over? Okay, so there's all sorts of quirky little characters here. Uh, he... Okay, so there's a level 2 guy. You can tell by the ping. It's yellow, right? So the level 2 guy over here. Ah, uh, yes. Level 2. So he's yellow. He's yellow. It's like he's just gonna sit there. That's fine and everything, but... Uh... <laughs> yes! There we go. So sometimes you get healed when that happens. So you notice my command module is now yellow as well. And these yellow bulkheads are tougher than the green ones. So we want them kind of close. So now because we have we have 60 seconds in between the fight. And of course, like you saw earlier, we can upgrade that as we, uh, as we improve things in the game from defeating enemies. We can actually buy uh, more time, essentially. Uh, but you still only get that amount of time. Now, once when you jump, all this stuff doesn't disappear. You still have a few minutes or a few seconds before the bad guys start coming to uh, make more modifications to your ship. In other words, these parts don't go away, so you jump with the scavenged parts just lying around. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but uh, you'll see. <laughs> we'll just leave this part. Uh, we'll leave this here. Oh, we want the yellow thing. And I think when they're flashing like that, that means they're damaged. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. But there we go. So we are jumping in 10, 9. So I haven't done anything super fancy here. Uh, maybe we'll do that. Uh, I suppose we could... Oops. Didn't mean to... So all our parts should still be there. Ah, uh, King Kevin! So graffiti on Mercury. Ah, uh, blast. Blast King Kevin! Ah, uh, some... Some other King Kevin did that. Sure, King Kevin. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, it's actually super cute. It's super cute. I don't know. It's It kind of makes you feel like you're playing a kid's game, but... Uh, oh, here. Actually, we can totally make use of that engine, and I'll show you how. Uh, that spare engine, what we can do is we can attach that to the side like that to make it so that we turn this direction faster. So we just got to remember when we turn, we want to turn to the right rather than the left. We can turn to the left, but we turn way faster to the right now. See? So where you put your stuff matters. All right. This guy looks like an easy guy. Let's go beat him. <laughs> now, there is a whole bunch of different types of weapons. It looks like he's got a long range laser or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Looks different. There we go. And I don't want to destroy all those parts. <laughs> uh, so what are these? These look like Long shot lasers, so they are actually super long range. Oh, that's wicked. Okay, so let's put these on as our side guns. These on as long range guns. 
Uh, you gotta be quick though, because they will come and they will get you. They're coming to get you. <laughs> there we go. Okay, go. So now I have guns that actually uh, sit on the sides, so I can broadside my enemies. <laughs> you can see where this is going, and it's 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 actually a lot of fun, and uh, it does get quite challenging. And now you know it's kind of survivalish. And oh, actually, you know what? We're gonna take that. Uh, we totally don't want to lose these parts because these are these are like yellow bulkheads, which are definitely more valuable than our green bulkheads because whoops, wrong one. Because they can take more damage and they're yeller. Okay, so we've got some good long-range weapons now. Awesome. So you can see where this is going. You can totally customize your ship, and maybe we should take those extra parts too. But of course, the more parts you have, the slower you turn and stuff too. I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to add that here just so that we have room for even more guns. <laughs> oh, uh, no, that's okay. Actually, yeah, we, we are going to take care of him. It's pretty easy. See, those long-range guns are pretty good, but I don't think they do as much damage as the other one. I could be totally wrong. Um, let's take that and throw that on the side here, and let's add more broadside guns. Yeah, and another turning engine. Oh, brilliant! Uh-oh, are we missing? We're missing a gun. Hey, that one looks different. Why does that look different? Light bulkhead. Bulkhead. Oh, that's, it's, 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 it's totally different. It's totally different. You know, I'm thinking maybe we do the light guns on the sides of the ship, uh, rather than... Oh, shoot. I guess I gotta shoot that. Nice! Oh! <laughs> and eventually you can get melee weapons, like little uh, little saws and stuff, so you can cut through enemy ships. Oh no, turn! Ah, we didn't really get anything out of that. That's okay. Ah, blast. Okay, I'm kind of hoping that they kind of heal my ships. So these are light bulkheads. Interesting. So they can't take as much damage. All right, that's fine. All right. Uh, we need some. We need some guns. We need some more guns. We need better guns. Ooh, he's a level three. Okay, so we do need to fight him. Ah! But I need to get I need to get the angle on him so that he can't. The thing is, he's, he's shooting from every direction or in every direction. But we've got longer range guns in him, so we're gonna make use of these long range guns. That we hijacked. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. got engines facing both forward and back, so he could technically, I think, keep up with me. Uh-oh, we're, we're just gonna have to go after him. There we go! Nice! Take it! Oh, there we go! There, we've won the third, the, the third level, so now let's, uh, let's replace these front light bulkheads with these heavier bulkheads. Um, yeah, so now we have 60 seconds again, so we gotta move fairly quick. We did get one orange engine, which is nice, but we don't have another yellow engine to match that one, but that's okay. We're just gonna stick that on the inside. We're not we're not gonna leave without these green engines, and we definitely want... Oh, actually, we want... Ha! Uh, oh, blast! Blast! Blast you! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're running out of time. That's okay. Even if even if we warp, that's fine. We, we've got more than enough time. We, even when we get there to throw on what we need to throw on. Okay, so this other orange one, actually, we're going to throw in behind. Oh man. <laughs> Blast! <laughs> it would be really nice to have more time in between, actually, because I like, I, I like to spend a little bit more time thinking about my moves. I'm actually going to do that. You're like, why are you doing that? That's crazy. That's madness. Maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. Okay, stage three. Let's finish what we're doing before the bad guys come. Get, oh yeah, yeah. All right, let's get this all on. So we've got our special thrusters, our turning thrusters. Then we've got those guys. We will need some broadside weapons. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, we don't want to leave the yellow stuff behind. Ah! Oh man. I should have taken all yellow, not the green. Okay, a lot of pressure here, guys. Don't be critical. <laughs> it's... Oh, crap. Oh, crap! No, 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 no! No, orange gun! There we go. Okay. No! What happened? Oh. Okay. He's got uh, he's got some long-range guns on him, but we can take him from the side. There we go. 
Yes. <laughs> see, and you can see that we're earning money as well. So I think it's good to have a few places to put things. Uh, <laughs> or stay close to all of your stuff so that when you finally get some build time, um, you know where to find everything. Okay, so let, we can take him. So we have to destroy a level 4 enemy this time. Yes! <laughs> Ooh, I'll take that. Ah! <laughs> some broadside guns. Awesome. There we go. This takes some serious hand-eye coordination as well as a lot of skill to talk at the same time. Oh no! What happened? Ah! More broadsides. Oh no! Bad guy's coming in. Okay, I can't turn fast enough. Oh no! Okay, uh, serious problems. Serious problems. So, they will- Oh, see, they're- They- they're, They hurt each other when they shoot at each other? Uh oh. Okay. No, no. Oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. I'm going to get my butt kicked here. I, I just know it. I just, I'm not fast enough to dodge him. I don't think I have enough firepower. Oh, no. Um, and he, he turns really fast. I just got... Uh, no, 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 no! <laughs> no, no, no! No! Uh, run, little guy, run! No! Oh. <laughs> but, yes, so I lost the game, but the game isn't over. I mean, it is, but... Okay, so we earned 40 bucks. So here's where it gets fun. Okay, so we can try again. And now we've unlocked the sniper kit because we made it to Mercury. See? And we've earned $40, which means we can actually increase our build time, which is going to be super handy. So you get where I'm going with this? Right. Okay, so the sniper gives us the longer range guns. I'm, I'm not very good at this. So, you know, before you comment, say, you suck. Trust me, I already know. I already know. You don't need to tell me. So... <laughs> So now that we have some sniper rifles, we can uh, maybe try to build a ship that, uh, you know, or, or change our tactics. And, you know, we weren't doing a really good job with the sniper rifle in the first place. Well, maybe we should go with the critical chance. Well, we could do both. We could do increase our build time and upgrade our critical chance. So now our weapons actually have a chance to do critical damage. 7% to do critical damage. Okay, so that's cool. I wish we could start with more engines. I, I, you know, some of these, oh, close range kits. So that's the one that he just killed us with, these, these long range guns. Or sorry, these short range guns, they're little spreads. They do shoot three at a time. And what is that? Oh, twin booster. Oh, wild. Uh, and then we've got uh, homing missiles. Oh, that would be amazing. And there's lasers and there's all sorts of stuff. Okay, so, oh, I gotta build my ship again, man. Okay, well, we could do... I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't really... Oh, yeah, that, that works okay, I guess. I, I would much rather... I think I'd much rather put my things like this. That way it protects my sniper rifles a little bit. Here, I'll show you in a sec here. So we'll throw those engines directly in behind, like so. These guns... <laughs> Actually, if the, 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 way the, build, the way you build here feels really good. Feels really good. I, I really like it. Okay, so where we go. So we've got, we've upgraded our critical hit chance. We did, right. Okay, so 7% and, oh, I see, I'm here. So now we have 90 seconds to build in between. And maybe that was our downfall. We just didn't have enough time. Um, uh, you know, I require a lot of time to think. Maybe I'm a bit slow. I don't know. Oh, hey, right on. Yeah. All right, so I guess we started the sun again. That's fine. Um, let's find some bad guys quickly. And we'll try and get as far as we can, and then we will call it an episode. Oh, back out. Oh, it's a big one, too. Okay, so maybe we... Oh, no. That's not a big one. Looks like he's bigger. So we should be able to snipe. Might have to change the keys. I'm not... Oh, actually. Great. I keep forgetting. So you can use the space bar to fire. But, uh, yeah, I would... For some reason, I was, reason I was using space bar. Space bar when the... 
the rate mouse button works fine. It's actually easier. There we go. Okay, so that gives us our third. I and if if you follow any of my other stuff, you know I don't like leaving anything behind. Okay, so that's that's nice. That's good speed. And actually, I wonder if we turn better if we put these out further. Which we do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Where you put your engines matter. Okay, so let's go fight this guy. Okay, he is level three, so that will skip us ahead one, which is really nice. We just have to pelt him with some long-range guns here. Shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> so I believe when you kill certain enemies, you heal somehow. I, 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 at least I read that somewhere, or I heard that somewhere, that you heal. Oh man, oh, I got a crit on him. I got a critical hit. <laughs> uh, 7% is paying off already, okay. What did I spend, like 25 bucks? Okay. I wish I could avoid shooting off those. Oh, yeah! I want those too. Ah, whoops. Whoa! Yes, I copy. I don't know what you're complaining about. Sorry, I'm not reading what they're saying. I'm sure it's really fascinating. I, I really want to get those uh, more of those long range guns because having a whole array of those might be quite handy. Ah, oh, yes! No! Dang it! Oh man! Yes! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I still have my center gun too, which is uh, like for my command module, so we just gotta... Actually, if we took out that... Uh... Oh man! No! I don't need help! Whoa! Right, he doesn't have a good feeling. I don't have a good feeling either. I'm not doing very well at all. Oh, that's a problem with these guns, is they fire very slowly. And those orange guns are pretty good. Maybe I maybe I shouldn't have taken on the level 3 guy. It might have been too much. And uh, for some reason I can't aim either. Okay, come on! Oh, I can't turn! My engines are all messed up! No! Oh man! Oh. So when I oh, okay, I gotta change this somehow. Ah, oh. bugger! Well, I won't be fighting the level three guy right away next time. Well, thanks for the help there, dude. Ah, oh, that's not helpful. Ah, <laughs> oh. okay. So what we're gonna do is we're going to actually adjust the ship a little bit, and then we'll go back. So, <laughs> uh. Yeah, uh... So what was happening there is our engines were totally placed improperly and I couldn't actually turn. I, I don't know if you guys can see really what, what I'm feeling, but uh, when your engines are in the wrong spot, it just doesn't work very well. Okay, so let's see if we can't snipe this guy now. We should put one of those engines on backwards actually. That might have been... The thing is, it's, it's really hard to aim. It really is. I mean, I play a lot of these kinds of games, like the 2D stuff. It's uh, it's super fun for me. I really enjoy it. Like the 2D top-down space shooters. Specifically, 2D top-down space shooters. For some reason, I just I love this stuff. It reminds me of old Star Control 3, if you're a Star Control 3 fan. Uh, it's good times. Very good times. Um, but for some reason, <laughs> it just can't seem to aim with this long-range gun. It doesn't seem to do any damage. Okay. I need to, like... There we go! That's what I'm looking for, All right? <laughs> Die! Man, I, just, I didn't get any of those parts. I destroyed everything around him. Okay, so we'll take that center engine. Ah, oh, that was brutal. That was brutal, man. That was terrible. I apologize for my substandard gameplay. <laughs> oh, super fun though. Okay, so let's uh oh let's add a forward engine. Ah, there we go. That should be helpful. I hope. We'll put these on the other side so we turn a little bit better. And I think we're ready to go. And we've got eight ninety seconds. Okay. Ah <laughs> So I just realized I could hit the button that says jump now. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Alright. 
And Pluto! Oh look, Pluto's covered in snot. That's with hair in it. <laughs> Referring to yourself in the third person, you've gone full villain! Oh no, oh no, my brother. I'm just a prepubescent girl and I don't know what I'm, uh, wait, no. Oh look, there's pizza in the sky. The pizza consolation. I love the pizza look consolation, it's delicious. <gasps> Did something just drip from Pluto? Oh, that's amazing! That's the kind of details that makes me happy. Oh, look! Pluto's dripping! <laughs> oh, that's not Pluto. Where are we? We're not at Pluto. Oh, the whole side's gonna drip off! Oh, no, it didn't. I thought it was going to. Where are we? <laughs> I don't know where we are. Oh, level four! Yes! We can take him. Just have to remember to keep firing. That's that's part of my problem. And I think if I, when I use the space bar, it becomes more difficult. And this is a good spot for me as long as that other guy just stays out of my hair. Ah, oh, no! I'm not doing enough damage. Here's the problem. No! No! Ah, oh, no! 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 I can't actually move now. That's not good. I am hitting that stupid thing. If I can kill him, then I should. Oh man. Okay. This is not good. I am hitting it, but I, I just can't do enough damage. These snipers a bad choice. I made a bad choice! Sniper's a terrible choice! Oh, I'm not even gonna get any money this time. I'm doing so poorly. I suppose what we could do is we could do this really quickly. There we go. Yes! Yes! We want that gun! Oh, we won! <laughs> How do you like that for being lucky? Honestly, that was pure unadulterated luck. So let's, uh, I don't know, we have, we have 90 seconds. Like, let's make full use of that. Uh, let's make sure that we've got some nice big arms. Yeah, to protect these stupid guns that don't do enough damage. <laughs> uh, I should be balancing these things out. I don't know if they weigh different amounts. Mass, three, mass, two. They do weigh different amounts. Oh, the red one's actually lighter. Oh, man, that messes up your weight. Uh, no wonder if we're having trouble. <laughs> Uh, 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 okay, so yeah, I, we barely got enough engines to keep this thing running. We're gonna throw this on. Ah, uh, uh, blast. Okay, no, we need to throw the orange. We got 46 seconds. <sighs> it it reminds me of other things I play. Um, I love the snot dripping off of that. That is awesome. Whoever thought of that, honestly, give them a raise. Uh, let's put the red here. There, that that kind of makes sense. And uh, we'll get rid of, we'll get rid of green on this side. Actually, there, there. It's kind, it's kind of, it's kind of, kind of not balanced at all. Uh, you know what? Still got time. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I spend all this time putting it together, and then I'm gonna fly like crap and not do a very good, very good job. Okay, that looks good. Very good, good, good. Let's go. Yes. I like having the extra time. Actually, it makes me happy. I, I'm I'm such I'm so anal when it comes to building. Okay, uh, yeah, we don't need that extra part. We've got uh, we've got crappy guns. We need better guns than this. Where are we? Oh, that's the Earth. The Earth Earth has been split in two. My brother. Ah, what a jerk. <laughs> Bark, bark! Excellent, excellent dog. Level four. Um, he's all red. Like these long-range guns do piss all for damage. Okay, so, <laughs> but if we can outrange him, it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, the problem is, ah, uh, bugger! Try and take out that other gun. No. Okay, we have no choice. We have to go in. No, 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 it's the same guy from last time. Let's take this away. <laughs> Can you believe we didn't die there? Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing anymore. Oh man, we need to spend more money, but we gotta, we gotta make money to spend money. Okay, we're just gonna add a whole bunch of armor to the front of this thing. We still have our, our little gun. Our little gun, can we do it? So we just gotta get in there and... Oh, he's got lasers, freaking lasers on his freaking forehead. Man! <laughs> oh, okay, so I, I want one of those lasers, but how do we do this? We've gotta sneak in and get in behind him and, um, I don't know, hit him with blackjack. No, wait, that doesn't work. Uh, there is actual uh, melee weapons. I think I was saying that before. You can get uh, little blades. You can go up and chew up the ships. Uh, do you think we can get it? Oh, oh, this guy might be perfect. Ooh, uh, can, oh no, those lasers, uh, that's a problem. Uh, maybe we can get in on this side. There we go. 
Yes, yes, yes! No! That's not good. Turn, I said. Turn! Ah, keep firing. Don't stop firing. Ah! No! Critical damage! I'm taking the critical damage. No! No! Oh, yes, shoot him! Not me! I can't turn, by the way. I'm having serious trouble. I gotta move my engine. Can't No, I've lost all my engines. Captain, you can't take it anymore, Captain! <laughs> Eject! 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 <laughs> I'm just a command module! I can do this! I can do this! Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, there's no parts to be had! Wait, what's that? It's a Unibooster! Yay! <laughs> oh my god, this is fun! Ah! Ah! Blast! I will get you! Don't! Hey, stand still! This thing's... This universe... Used, universe booster is, is like a bad joke. Whose idea? Oh, I see it. It allows you to turn. Ah, it's neat, but... Uh, um doesn't really work well alone with this thing. Um, I'd actually rather have not have it. Oh, maybe I would like it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so confused. Ow! <sighs> you sank my battleship. Well, that was fun. <laughs> One kit unlocked. Well, guys, I unlocked the close range kit. Very cool. I, I'm super excited to play more of this, uh, either on my own or for you guys. Uh, I'm going to be playing this regardless because it's it's super fun. Like I said, it's it's kind of light compared to some of the things that we do on, on the channel. Um, but it's it's still fun, and it still has all of those same elements of the things that we play on the channel. It's just lighter. Um, but it, it does feel, even though this is early access, it does feel very polished and very complete. I don't know what they feel that they need to do to finish the game. Um, I think they were talking a little bit about uh, the end game when you actually reach Pluto. Um, some of the things that happen when you reach Pluto. But uh, other than that, it feels really good. And I think it's going to be worth 20 bucks. For 20 bucks, I'd buy this. I, well, just, just to clarify, I did buy this, but I bought it on the Humble Store for 10 uh, before the launch. And then they gave me a beta copy to uh, sort of a play with before the launch. But I wasn't allowed to post it until launch day. So uh, just, just to tell you that I'm not... I'm not, I haven't been bought by anybody. I, I buy all my games, by the way. If you're ever wondering, I buy all my games. I get, I, on occasion, people send me something for free, but uh, I anything that, most things that I put on YouTube, I buy. And this is another one I buy. I am not promoting them because they gave me anything. I just, I really like the game. It's, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. And it's, you know, it's one of those things that you're going to play when you're, when, after a stressful day at work or something. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I had a blast showing this off to you. And uh, if you want to see me play more, great. Uh, maybe I'll throw up a, a video a week or a couple videos or I can, I don't know, <laughs> whatever you guys want. Um, otherwise, I will still be playing it. And uh, maybe, maybe you'll be able to see this uh, via the stream on Steam. Anyway, guys, have a good one. Take care.